Lucy won't quit licking Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Lucy she is just like all over her. <laughs> Star. Oh, he found the thumper spot. That's the thumper spot. Oh my goodness. <coughs> okay, call Downey over to you, Luce. Let's just let him see how you Hi, boy. Can we kisses? Sweet boy. I don't know why, but I'm just going to cheat <laughs> Hi, Downey. Pretty sure he hasn't had a cheeseburger. No, he's not. Downey gets along fine with the girls, and he's a little uh, grumbly and growly with my boy Jack, but my boy Jack's like that with a lot of the big males that come in. Uh, he, he grumbles a little bit at Max, uh, but Max does not engage, and uh, so then there's not been any issues there with him. And as you can see, his whole backside's been shaved here. Um, he had like some kind of flea, flea, and flea, something going on. So they said, well, we shaved him down. That's all I was told. So, but it looks good now. It's got a bit of flaky skin. It's drying up. Downey, hi. He's a sweet boy, but he's a little skittish. Um, but now that he's been here, he's young. He's about a year old. And... He is a fence jumper, so he's either going to need somebody, if you don't have a fence, he's going to need somebody that will walk him on a regular basis, and um, he crates fine. He does not like being in a kennel, though. How was he when you went out there to the kennel? Because he, he cried at first when I first started putting him in the kennel, and I was trying to desensitize him to being in the kennel just for short periods of time. So he seems to really like Lucy. We've not cat tested him yet. Well, it's something that we'll do later on. Ow, 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 ow. Don't know any history on him. Ow, um, I think he was a stray. Got these little pickery things in his fur. He's tickly. And you really don't want to look at him. Janet said he was like cat tolerant, but not cat friendly. Yeah, I think that's right. Janet did test him because he was at Janet's for a few days. Hi, honey. He, I, don't, I don't believe he is cat friendly. He's dirty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I... Hi, star. Hi, love. Well, that's really sweet. Look at he's climbing up on the couch like, I want to be with her. She's nice. Nice girl. Star, you really don't want to look nice. <laughs> she don't care. <laughs> They've been everywhere. Yeah, they have. <laughs> Call him back over, Luce. Downy! Downy! Come here! Up here! Up here! Up here, boy! He does take treats really nicely. <clears throat> really, you couldn't have done that on that side. He really likes Lucy. That's sweet. That's good. That's really good. It looks funny now, Mr. Fluffy Butt. <laughs> Here, let's take that leash off again. Okay. Good boy. And as usual, you know, people get these dogs, have them, you know, close to a year, did nothing with him. Absolutely, you know. Uh, we're bored. I got an owner surrender, uh, two owner surrender applications in yesterday, and uh, one's near Nashville, and she pulled them out of a shelter a year ago. I only read part of it. I haven't even had time to look at it all. I can't take him right now. And then, and the other one is um, near Charlotte, Tennessee, six one five area code. Um, 
husband got him. Oh, wants the dog, wants the dog, wants the dog. Within a few days, she was taking, the wife was fully taking care of the dog, having to train this puppy. He took literally no interest within a few weeks. See ya, I don't need it. And he left her with children and she was going through chemotherapy and yeah, and left her. She had two Yorkies and a cat and then he insisted on having this shepherd pup who's now 18 months old and you know, threw that whole responsibility on her to train this puppy. And she's just like, I can't handle this. He's, he's obnoxious. He's jumped my Yorkies at times. You know how Yorkies are, especially little male Yorkies. So, you know, now she wants to, you know, get rid of him. And that's Jody in the gray. So it's really nice to see Leela and Lucy and Star and Stella. And it's coming up on nap time. Okay. <laughs> you find you a spot there, huh, sweetheart? He's a good boy. I think he's a good dog. He just needs, you know, obedience work. Um, needs a stable home. Somebody that will show him affection and attention. Hi, honey. You do good boy. Hi, sweetie. Everything going okay down there? <clears throat> and he's another medium energy, not not high strong. Um, he just needs to have a family and some people will work with him. Like he, I think he was wanting to go in his crate. He has a collie tail on him. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Lovely tail. <coughs> yeah, but it's just as bushy. It has that white tip. It's got a white tip. My mom had a shepherd collie. And um, he had a, a black arrow like in his tail, like this guy does. Maybe this is the one she had. No. Silas was at eight years old, got, um, he was looking bloated one day, and my mom took him to a vet in Morristown, and the vet said, oh, he's just got gas. Here, give him some Tums and stuff like Pepto and stuff like that. Well, a few days later, go, you know, like a few days, like five, six days go by. And I was over at her house, and I said, Ma, that, this Silas doesn't look right. <coughs> so she took him to another vet, <coughs> and that vet said basically the same thing. I'm like, another five, six days goes by. I'm like, what the heck? Why she lasted for that long a time with bloat? It wasn't bloat. It wasn't? No. Um, what happened was, is I finally I told her, look, you need to bring him up here to Claiborne. Claiborne took one look at him and said, I think that dog has cancer started palpitating his abdomen and stuff. And he goes, yeah, I think he's full of cancer. And by then this had been over two weeks. Yeah. And uh, he, I think he did an x-ray. I'm trying to remember now, it's been a few years, five, six years now. I think he did an x-ray and um, I think my, I guess they opted for surgery. And so when he got in there, he ended up right afterwards euthanizing him. During, you know, after he put him, yeah. my mom, I guess my mom, he told my mom that, you know, it was just full of cancer. So that was pretty upsetting. And he was only eight years old. Well, was seven and a half when he died. Yeah. yeah, I think you're pretty kid friendly. 